Russians try to surround Avdivka this time. The Russian occupiers have been trying to surround Avdivka in Donetsk Oblast since May, last deadline when they tried to do so was March the 1st. But the city is still under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. Vitaly Barabash, head of the Avdivka Civilian Military Administration, said it. The situation regarding the threat of encirclement is not new. They have been using this tactic in Avdivka since May. There were many different dates that they set for the encirclement of Avdivka. The extreme date for encircling the city was the 1st of March. But there's a Ukrainian flag over the city till now. Now they entered the lowlands from the north. Our soldiers are located on the key heights. This is what gives the enemy such crazy losses in this direction in the north. They are less active in the south of the city. But they do not stop trying to perform a pincer movement surround. The guys are in positions holding on. Everything that occupiers have at their disposal works. Airstrikes, missile strikes, multiple launch missile systems, cannon artillery, mortars, cluster munitions, magnesium incendiaries. Everything flies towards the city and positions around the city, Barabash said. Barabash stated that there was more shelling, including of the city itself. According to him, three weeks ago, there were more assaults on the Bakhmut front than in Avdivka, and now the frequencies of attacks in both areas are the same. Both in the Bakhmut front and in the Avdivka front, 250 to 300 shelling and 30 to 40 assault actions are recorded per day. The only difference is the number of anti-aircraft strikes in Bakhmut. Three to four strikes are observed daily, and in Avdivka, sometimes it's up to 30 per day. In addition, Barabash reported that currently, approximately 1,900 people remain in Avdivka. At the beginning of the invasion, there were 26,000 inhabitants. By 2014, there were about 40,000 people living in the city.